Good day, Lords and Aliens, and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity with me, Cronus Knight. This is going to be a slightly shorter episode again, unfortunately, folks. Um, just, I have a lot of stuff on my plate at the moment to do, and it's making it a bit hard to do um, long episodes. Right, so. Just say the word. we got revenge for her. Can do. We'll go up this way and get out. I wonder if she's got anything more to say. Zawa is what ready. do you need of Zawa? Ishimital is vast. Outsiders think of it as one land and its people as one people. But if you walk across it, you see that there are many Ishimitals. The Ishimital that the Khan know is rich in soil and water. The crops seem to grow in front of you. We build our homes along the Aki River, and it is good to us. Though every so often, it floods, so that the Khan do not forget their suffering. It would not be the rainy season without my neighbor Esley swimming after his escaped goats and nearly drowning. The mirth is a hearse face bur buries itself suddenly as for evading capture. But home is an idea, no more real than justice or honor. My home is here now, wherever I stand. What were you doing before you came here? I hope to share knowledge with the monks of the Thousand Dreams. Their monastery lies east of here. They are said to be seekers of greater truth, like the Nalpazka. But if they still exist, I did not find them there. Okay. Not a problem. I'm going to go to here. It will take us a while to get there. There's a couple of these things that I want to try and um, take care of. Right, so it's just coming morning. Just say the word. Talk to the soul. We know what we know what he basically fought. It he fought that dragon and lost badly. We found the dragon and lost badly. This cultists are still down here, which is going to be a pain. Right, let's quickly save because I want to make sure I have that dialogue done. Okay, and let's get up Just this mountain. Zawa is ready. Yeah. Be nice if they spotted me, so they're never going to get closer. Okay. Right. Okay. So what's that? That stunned. Okay. Do we have something that prevents stun? Confused days. Get that up. What? Let's get down. Let's get down here. We're all stunned. Yeah, I could get that up. What? Hit that off. Hit, 
hit the eye splites. That's the ring of death. I don't know if that will affect people. I don't want to hit my own teammate, that's the problem. Get into the fight. St stupid ghost things stunning people over the blinking place. Getting sick of it. You hear me? I'm getting sick of it. She's stun locked. Yes. Right, we're gonna be like that, fine, we'll be like that. that that's not the way. So what's this? Getting sick of these ghosts. Right, that hurt a lot. That's one of them, okay. She's still going to be a pain, I see. Right for the her, you guys go for her. Raw damage won't be much use against her, but we should be able to do a bit. Right. What I want to give them. Be hit by. Sick of these things. Right. Hit her with that. Hit her with that. Punt that thing. So she's no longer possessed. Excellent. It's getting sick of those ghosts. Oh. 
Keep on spell locking him. Lead the way. Get her out of position. Ooh, that hurt. Man, that really hurt. Oh, the sword evolved. Deal 200 damage to, spe to, to, to spirit. Okay, I got that. So let's see what it does. Holy power. Uh, that's not too bad, not great, but could be worse. Kill vessels with 600 even more, kill 50 enemies. At least we killed most of them. Got a lot of essence as well. Just say the word. Man, those things were nasty. But we managed to overcome it. I know I get a bit quiet in, in combat situations. I tend to basically mm. get very, very That's focused. Yeah, I use that. That's that hurt. Just say the word. Sort of checked for traps. Can't take the camping equipment, which is a shame. I thought we took care of everything. Apparently not. The panels have been worn smooth and in one you can take the safer sword, the other another stocky body of a dwarf. Out of this panel, this looks like to be squares of relief. Just say the word. Behind a frigid curtain of water is an alcove in the walls flick flecked with ice in the middle you see a stone pe stone pedestal also glazed with ice from the falls. A, cruci a cruciform hilt and tapered blade protrude from the pedestal, judging from the size of the hilt and the apparent left the blade you infer you infer that this is an estoc. Examine the area. The alcove and the stone pedestal are little more than dilapidated ruins, ice presses crack ice prize cr prizes cracks into the stone and coats the, sticky, the slick floor. The estoc um what little of it you can see appears to be better condition. It seems odd that everyone would leave it here. However, as you get close, you hear what sounds like the screams and shouts of tormented souls. So it's cursed, basically. Leave? No, we can still go back for it. But it's basically yeah. an evil... No, we're going to take the evil sword. Hard questions. Ah, who Just lives there? Right. Let's take it. Move to pull the stone from the sword. Who, who, who will go? Grab the weapon and pull it yourself. You'll grip. You'll cross f under the falls, grasp the water, and douse yourself. So you cross under the walls, gasping as the water touches you. Breath echoes into small chambers. You approach the pedestal. You see the flecks of the w the falling water running on the blade. You grip the hilt. The hate, fear, the violence of a dozen mad, giggling voices fills your mind. You shudder through a wave of mental pain, struggling to hold the voices back. Grunting and cries of agony ring through the tiny space. Keep holding. You retain your grip on the sword, your arm shakes with effort, eventually you regain a measure of focus despite the clamming voices. Yet just as you breathing steadies and 
often you subside, something pulls your arm forward, you suddenly feel as if you're holding a heavier, painful burden. You could probably pull the stock free, but it will tax without effort, without careful effort. Intelligence 11, brace against the pedestal and pull the stock free. You clamber onto the pedestal and adopt a wider stance for better leverage. Inspect the blade. The blade is a fine, sturdy steel. It seems odd that someone would have left it in this stone, but you don't see anything remarkable about it. Draw the S stock from the stone. After working on the S stock, you have to pull it through without too much difficulty. Might 13. Yet when you try to release the S stock, it remains stuck in your hand. You feel something within the, the weapon grasping at your soul and binding to it. When you look at the blade, you see a the new glowing metal, as you see new writing glowing from the metal. Ah, dag nabbit. Um, this stock is smooth, sturdy blade, tapers with sharp point to grow into a dozen sort of souls ring from the metal, binding the weapon to its hand of its wielder for long as a curse persists. A few verses of etz along the blade. Is a traitor's fate to sleep and never rest, while well, knowledge of his dead stay lodged within his breast. But earnest penance, sal his penance heals the soul of man, and worth action stays the executioner's hand. A new verse appears when the blade was drawn from the pedestal that reads, Seek whirling agent made of copper adra stone, awaken first your essence so you may atone. That's just. That's not great at all. Ah, uh, it's a piercing weapon. That's not great. Okay, so I have bound myself to an uh, evil sword. <laughs> yeah. Um. So for the first verse, of the poem is a traitor's fate to sleep and never rest, while knowledge of his deeds stays lodged within his breast. But earnest penance heals the sorrowful man, and worthy access stays next to his hand. Grey sleepers. Uh, find. The whirling agent of copper, adder, and stone. That's not worrying. Just say the word. Why did I use this? Why did I take it? I should have given it to someone else. Whirling copper and stone. Oi. I always had the habit of making making bad stuff happen to my characters. I have no tact. We know that like the lunatics are over there. Is this it? Uh, one could hope. Apparently it is not. Forgotten we still had loot up here. Just right. The word. So I've bound myself to an evil sword. This is not good. Not good at all. But we should be able to overcome it. Though, for now, folks, this is where we're going to end it for the day. I know it's a relatively short episode, but it's just how things are going to have to be. Um, if you have liked, please press the like button. If you have subscribed, please press the subscription button. And um, tune in next time for the continued adventures of Gwen Ravenheart and her apparently cursed sword as we try and get it removed from her. Um, this is going to be fun. And I shall see you all next time, folks. Goodbye.